We are going to discuss time division multiple access in abbreviated form it is TDMA. In TDMA the bandwidth is just one channel that is time shared between different stations in different time slots. In the earlier video we watched FDMA where all the nodes can transmit that information anytime. So there was no time slots were there but they could not use the full bandwidth. But here we are doing just the reverse. That means all nodes are not liable to send their message at any time, but they can use the bandwidth full when they will be allowed to do so. So here you see we are having station 1, station 2, station 3, station 4, and here we are having the respective, here we are having the respective uh, slots are allocated. There is a first slot for station 1, second slot for station 2, third slot for station 3, and the fourth slot for station 4 respective color matchings are there. So, during the transmission the slots will be allocated in this way. So, when the favorable slots, slots will be coming and which, which, is, which is meant for a certain station, then that period of time the station can transmit using utilizing the full bandwidth but not always and that is no question of having any guard band. In case of FDMA we had the guard band and due to the presence of guard bands if some portion of the bandwidth was not getting utilized. So, that sort of guard band concept is not there in our TDMA. So, in this video we have discussed with some diagram what is TDMA and how does it operate. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.